All right, hey guys, it's me, Mina. Here we are back to the Wand of Wishing, Pet Pet Adventures. Uh, I, I could find some way to shorten that title. Anyway, before we move anywhere, let's go ahead and head over here and talk to this guy. Well, actually, let's not. Let's go ahead and just break, go, break him over here. Open this treasure chest that's hidden here. Grab that platelet cereal and break these. Get some more NP, because why not? But he'll tell you very something interesting here. Hey there, stranger. Are you checking out my little Breebie here? Well, ain't he a little bugger? Mm. Yep, these little guys can be found in different places, I tell ya. The trick is how to catch them. Why? With food. You gotta know what food they like. Drop one down near their home to lure them out. Then wait for the little guy to eat the whole thing and he'll be so bloated he won't be able to move. Haha, -ha. yep. That's when you can pick him up. They stay grateful for you for the little meal. Why, they return the favor in some way, too. Like me, why I feel stronger when this little fellow is around. That's little guys. Well, good luck and take care, stranger. Anyway, since we got that platelet cereal and kind of stole it from him, let's go ahead and head over here and exit out of the town and begin our adventure. You notice that little Breebly right there that you just saw? Well, if you go into your inventory, move over here, you'll actually see a spot specifically for pet 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 food. That's actually what they're called. Pet pet pets. No joke, that's what they're called. Anyway, you'll notice on the inf on the actual description of each one, it tells you what the actual pet 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 you need to actually attract it with. This one happens to be a briefly. So if you want to do what you want to do is get near it, like this right here, and then drop it. And then wait for it to eat. Come on, wait for it. Come on. Yep, yep, that's good. That's a good, yes, yes, yes. And pick it up. And you'll notice it's now in your inventory. A blue briefly. This happy bounce and flea ate all of your platelet cereal, didn't it? Now if you use it, it gives you a plus two strength as a little ally and kind of follows you around. Kind of annoying kind of hearing this little chirp that it makes, but whatever. It gives me plus two strength. What do I care? Let's leave this village. Alright, and just so you know as well, there are other pet pet pets around here. So that's not the only one. Don't worry about that. Let's talk to this guy, though. <laughs> Thieves, brigands, by the founder's tale, I'm robbed. Hmm. They took my wagon, my belongings, my, my... Uh, Was it enough to steal my livelihood? No, they even stripped the scarf off my neck. Uh, the wagon I can replace. I can replace my goods, but that scarf was special, made by my own daughter. Hmm? If you should find my wagon, you could take anything that's still there. But I want that scarf back. Will you help? Sure. Why not? We could do that. Hmm. We can't really find his wagon yet, so let's not worry about that right now. Let's just move along and get ready for an ambush. Hmm. Interesting. What's gonna happen? You can take these guys out pretty quickly, pretty easily, with your mouth that you got. Press your briefly. Yeah, you could do some good damage against them. Not to mention that the croc has some decent strength along as well. Head over to here, and you'll see the bandit camp here. Just kill all these guys around here. And I'm kind of already low in health, what it looks like. All right, I'm not even really doing anything crazy yet. Now you'll see food that you can actually pick up around here too. That's a spherical cherry. Now it's kind of funny. There are also like cubicle cherries, triangular cherries, but uh, spherical cherries, I believe. Whoa, I got really lucky there. I forgot about these things. Uh, yeah. If you break one of these barrels, it's insta kill. Don't be near it when they explode. They sometimes have items in them, but if you're near them, you will die horribly. It's always insta death. All right, just get in. come on, easy. Perfect. All right, get lots of NP here. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna be getting a lot of good loot around here. A lot of good way to get some NP. Now, if we can find that one guy's wagon, ah, there's a treasure chest over here. And hey, look, you got this scroll there. And come on, bless. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. That's actually a very nice scroll. Let's go and take a look at this right here. Scroll over to bless. Regenerate hit points and spell points at an increased rate when blessed. So yeah, if you put that in your quick inventory here. Let's go ahead and just choose an item here. And ready that. Hmm. 
So now, see? Everything just increases that way. Very, very nice scroll to have this early on in the game. Normally, it's kind of expensive, but I actually got it. So that's quite nice. But if you head over here, off the marked path, there's another treasure chest. You get a small pouch, and it, which gives you another one to use. So now we have four possible spots we could use. Now... So, you could go through the entire game and get every treasure chest there is in the game and still not have all eight of the patches you could possibly get in the game. Because it's random what you get them, so don't worry about that. But either way, let's go ahead and talk to this guy again that we got now that we got the scarf back and see what he has to say. And oh, by the way, these guys stay dead. They are dead forever. They don't faint, they don't uh, disappear. They're just, they're just dead for the entire game. Hmm. My scarf? You found it? Founder be praised! It's a miracle! You saved a poor man's pride, which I must admit was my- my- lab. What I most feared losing. You're a hero and deserving of more than I can give. Takes agility orb along with my thanks. Cool, an agility orb. I think I'll go ahead and save that as loot and just sell that later. Orbs could sell for a thousand. And, uh, agility is honestly not really the biggest, most helpful thing in the game. I mean, it's not completely worthless, but... Still, there's a good reason why I'm going to save that and sell it later. You'll see when we actually finish through here. But yeah, now that we have that blessed ability, can we just like spam that anytime we want? Make a good ability here. But if you go around over here as well, alongside the stream, there's of course, go past over here, a Nuzzer Treasure Chest here. You get a Crooked Sword and some NP. Quite nice. Quite some nice loot we're getting around here. Let's walk over here. I think I got everything I pretty much needed to around here, unless I missed something, which I, if I did, oh well. You will die. Come on. Get over here. See, Crocobex are kind of annoying to actually attack because they're they're not very... Melee is not very good against them, so it's probably better to use a Shadowy Wand like this against those creatures. Or not, because I'm missing horribly. And I believe a secondary effect is that it kind of slows it down as well with the Shadowy Wand. But I'm kind of low in health completely. Uh oh. Stay away. Stay away! I didn't save yet! And come on, that should be it. Perfect. Bless! Alright, let's just go ahead and switch our weapon again. Man, that is like the that is an awesome scroll to have this early in the game, man. I, that is fantastic. I love that. Normally you can't get that scroll until about eh until the next town, but that I'm not complaining. Uh oh, this ain't good. Run. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and heal real quick. Uh, let's see. Spherical Charlie, yeah, sure, I'll just, I'll just use that now. And run away! Run! I'll grab that. Easy. And you're dead! Alright, perfect. Sweet. Whee! I could just, oh yeah, there's also treasure chest back here, so I was looking for earlier. There's a mana potion, and hey, that could be helpful here. Let's go ahead and just equip that thing right now. A plain shirt gives me one defense, better than no defense, I say, so why not? Anything helps at this point, this early in the game, because you're pretty much defenseless right now. Literally and figuratively. Alright, is there anything else that I missed around here? I'm pretty sure there is. I think there's another treasure chest around here somewhere. Ah, not you again. I think this is probably get easier. There we go. Mana potion, strength. Pick up a club. Oh boy, useless uh, weapon. But hey, at least it'll sell for something. All right. If you could tell, if I'm already oh, I'll just ignite these and run away. Anything there? Nope, nothing. Oh well, nothing there we could grab. Is there any more loot that I missed? There has to be some kind of loot. No. No, I guess not. Okay. Well, I guess in that case, now we can actually head in the caves. Unless I missed something. Let me check the map here. You also have a very nice map here at the very right. So if you could tell if you missed anything here. Yeah, there was that gate there, but we can't get there yet. That gate's kind of useless. 
we got we finished up that quest there so yep we're good we could actually move on with our lives and actually enter the mines Ooh. all right so now that we're in the mines things kind of get interesting here there's a broken lever there I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick so uh, give me a second all right let's move down first because ups are where you have to go but in here there's just some more stuff for us to grab why not now you notice these here, it's the first time we'll see these. This is actually a hidden trap. They actually exert spikes. Normally it's just like spot little spots. It's kind of hard to see in a dark area. Kind of see notice there it's completely fine, but when you get near them, they spring up and do damage to you. So just stay away from those. They're kind of hard to see in this area. But hey, whatever. Let's move around here. Ignite that. And I killed an enemy in the process. That's very nice. Let's see here. Hmm, any enemies over here? Guess not. I'm gonna do it this way. What the, where did Crafted You come from? Uh-oh, uh. Hit that. Fine. I don't know where those guys came from, but either way, took them out. There we go. Could have sort of was something useful over here. Not getting much of anything. All right, fair enough. I don't feel like wasting my bless right now. In fact, let's just switch over to Nova real quick. Whee! Now this, you could push that there, but let's go down here first before we do anything. Move down. Those floors go down in two hits. Not very bad. Not very bad at all. A water muffin. Cool. That's like a one-time use item that actually does some good damage. But it's just a one-time use item. So, nothing really to worry about. Nothing over there, but I guess I can sell that item for later. Now, let's go ahead. And I believe that's the place we need to go over there to the right. But let's go ahead and push this. Pulling is not going to get you anywhere, so you have to actually push it. Head over here, kill this guy. There's actually a chest here. And in this chest, we'll get another crooked sword. All right, well, money to sell. And, uh, triangle. All right, perfect. Well, I think that's actually pretty much it for now. If, well, I'll wait till you get to the next checkpoint before I actually quit it off. Break that guy down. Break these barrels here. And I'll do one last thing before I end this video off real quick. I'll do this one little mini puzzle here. And I'll end it off. Break it down. A small splime smoothie. I believe that's just a healing item. So that's, that helps. Anything else? I already have 814 NP. So that's very helpful. Another trap door. Watch out for that. So let's go ahead and take this. Push it over here. change the tracks uh, did I do that right I think I did let me see is it gonna go this way now nope nope I think I pressed it one too many times there we go and now n ah, now I should be able to push it it's gonna turn it around And we down the slide it goes. And of course, those enemies are waiting for us. But we'll actually tackle that next time. So next time in Neopets uh, Pet Pet Adventures, The Wand of Wishing. I really need to shorten that somehow. We'll be tackling on further in the mines and see what else awaits us. See you guys then.